I had to quantify or concretize my inheritance, it would probably be every book that I've ever read since I first started reading. So if you could stack um, every single uh, book in one great big uh, room or hall or uh, in a garden, that, that would probably be the best thing to represent uh, what I have inherited. Um, in a way it's uh, symbolic for the information which has been given to me through um, friends and family and uh, teachers o over the years since, like everyone else, I was four or five and have been taught by people. But it's uh, a particularly symbolic and graphic way of demonstrating that we are, each of us, uh, the sum total of our knowledge and our thoughts and the critical reflections on life that we've got from everybody else. Uh, you're privileged in a way if you happen to have been born in a very uh, tolerant and multicultural and absorbative society like the United Kingdom. And it's just a, a chance a fluke that uh, people have. So I think that it's important not to see that necessarily in a, a, a jingoistic or highly patriotic way, but it's an undeniable fact and an interesting one, I think, that if you think about the uh, heritage, the cultural, sporting, scientific, literary, musical and philosophic heritage of the United Kingdom, which is an almost unimaginably small part of the globe uh, as a whole. It has had an enormous, incalculable impact, a beneficent, a benign impact um, on the planet. So if you look at the, the four or five most important, uh, most appreciated and loved sports um, in the world, across the entire planet, they all happen to have come uh, from the United Kingdom. Uh, it's the same in football and cricket and so on, and golf and, uh, and others. Uh, if you look at uh, the most important uh, contributions to um, science, you're looking at uh, Darwinism, you're looking at uh, the discovery of the DNA, the development of the internet, uh, you're looking at technology in the forms of uh, uh, the jet engine, uh, the, the road, uh, uh, and uh, the development of the telephone, or rubber, and a 101 uh, other things. The same is true. I think that uh, along with things like music and philosophy and uh, developments in fashion and every other conceivable part of nature, Britain, I think particularly because it's been a, a, a very uh, pluralistic, multicultural, absorbative, tolerant culture, has generated an enormous mass of interesting and stimulating things. And uh, I've been fortunate enough to be part of a society that has uh, generated lots of literature and discussions and debates about those things. So I think one way of making it uh, into a tangible, concrete, for observable form would be to imagine that in terms of the books that uh, I've read, or the conversations that I've had with other people where they have told me things, explained things, or criticised things by virtue of the fact of the books that they've read. So perhaps I ought to augment it into all of the books that I've read, plus if there's room enough in this uh, space, let's make it... Um, a field <laughs> rather than a garden. Um, all of the books that were read by all of the people who've ever spoken to, uh, with me and uh, been able to uh, help develop me as a person in that way.